So right now we collect two samples. Once a day for the past 102 years, Got it. someone has come to a small concrete room on the end of Scripps Pier. We're going to just take a simple temperature measurement. Today, Birch Aquarium worker Sean Bruce is adding to a record. 24.83. That began when trench warfare of World War I dominated world news. Every single day, we take a sea surface sample and a bottom sample, and both of these are testing uh, salinity measurements as well as temperature. And it was Wednesday's reading that raised eyebrows. Scripps researcher Melissa Carter says it was the highest temperature ever recorded here, 78.6 degrees. Carter works with the information gathered here and at several other nearshore locations. Okay. What we found is since 2004, we've actually had quite a bit of warming. Um, in 2015-16, we saw almost two standard deviations above a long-term mean. I mean, that's science talk for that. It's really warm, and it's and it's now extreme, extremely warm. This is just part of the scientific record that will tell researchers about the condition of the world's oceans. I grew up fishing in, off of LA. Dan Rudnick is a physical oceanographer at Scripps, and he says ocean data is collected worldwide, much of it from a series of floats known as the Argo Array. Making the observations we do at Scripps in general, from the pier, from the data that we collect with underwater gliders, is in some ways the most fundamental thing we do. Because no matter what happens, what changes occur, at the baseline, we have to see them and, and be able to document what happened. Scripps researchers say the new record could fall again this month. August typically brings San Diego some of the warmest ocean temperatures of the year. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.